Hey guys, welcome back to Creep Softly Studio. This weekend I am celebrating halfway to Halloween. It is almost six months until that spooky time of year and I cannot wait. This is when I really get amped up with all my Halloween projects and all kinds of fun stuff. So the halfway mark is just like, ah, uh, we're on the downhill slide. We'll be there before you know it. So, um, for today's project, I created some vintage inspired um, Halloween uh, lanterns or buckets, as you might call them. Um, I have a video that has every single step very detailed out and explained on my Resin Bell channel if you want to go check that out. Um, otherwise, this one is just a quick little showing, little snippets of all the steps it took to cast paper mache. Um, this whole process was a very big learning curve. I had never cast paper mache before. Obviously, I've worked with paper mache. Most people have, but I've never tried to cast it. So I went from the very beginning of sculpting the designs into plasticine clay and molding them with plaster of Paris and um, going through the process of making my own paper mache clay which I had never done before and that was an interesting process um, then moving on to casting that paper mache learning all the steps as far as you know how long to let it set and dry and how thick you need it how wet you need the clay how dry you know i've just kind of started to get that part down it takes a little bit of practice <laughs> now my first batch was a little too wet and so a lot of that moisture created um, moisture pockets that once they were dry were voids so i had to do a lot of fill work at the end after i pulled my casts from the molds but I was able to fill those little spots, those little holes in with paper mache clay, some very fine refined store-bought paper mache clay. And that worked out really well. I was able to sand them out and they just looked so cute. But for right now, I am super happy with the, um, the sculpts that I did. That was a really fun process doing that. That took a few days. Um, you know, just the whole process. I've always wanted to do this. It's a project that's been in the back of my mind for a while. And it's just such an exciting thing to actually say, yes, I've done it. Check, <laughs> check that box and move on, girl. <laughs> but anyway, I am actually thinking about um, casting some of these and making them available for sale. If that's something that you think would be cool or if that's something you're interested in buying, um, let me know in the comments below. I mean, I can totally understand if you're not interested, but um, I would like to know if anybody would be interested in something like that, whether it's, you know, worth my time to do it or not. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having fun with all of your halfway to Halloween projects. And if you've got a halfway to Halloween project on your channel, leave a link in the description box below. I want to go, I mean, in the comment section below, I want to go check out your channel. So um, we all love our creepy little projects and our fun stuff so um, share that below and let's go check it out thank you so much for watching if you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button and that like button because that does help a little tiny channel like mine to grow and grow keep those spooky vibes flowing and creep softly until we see you in the next video bye